hello beautiful people welcome to my channel i am uinda miriam today i will just be showing you how i created this smoky purple look the smoky purple eye look i hope you guys enjoy it i had a wonderful time making it it was so much fun to make and yeah please stay tuned we will begin with a black canvas no makeup so I moisturized with this Neutrogena oil free moisture and then we'll start with the eyebrows I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow, dip brow pomade in the shade dark brown and I'm just using that to create a nice shape for my eyebrows To clean up my brows, I'm using this LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Toffee. I'm just going to use that to, you know, add more definition to my eyebrows. I'm also using that same shade on my upper brow area. I want that very sharp and precise brow look today. Now we are going to start with the eye look. I am using Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette in the shade Zobo and I am just blending that into my crease and that will be my transition shade. Please take your time with the blending process, that's what really makes the eye look very beautiful and very perfect. Now I'm taking Delectable from Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. This is a dark purple shade and I'm using that to intensify the crease.
With that same Juvia's Place palette, I'm taking Makita. That's the purple shade that will be the icing on the cake for this look. I love this shade so much. It's very vibrant and it's very beautiful. To add the smoke in the smoky eye, I'm going in with this black shade called Tempting by Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette and I'm just using that to blend the look seamlessly. For eyeliner, I'm using this Nikkei eyeliner and I'm creating a winged and precise look. Now I'm going in with NYC eyeliner and I'm just using that to intensify my lower lash line. With the leftover product from my brush, I'm just using that on my lower lash line to smoke out the eyes a bit more. I'm going with that same shade I used on my eyelid, Makita. Now I'm just cleaning out any fallout with my makeup wipes to create a nice base for the makeup. For primer, I'm using the I'm using Elf Mineral Infused Primer. Now for foundation, I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless in the shade Coconut and I'm just blending that and buffing that out onto my skin. I will be bringing that foundation down my neck. Please don't ever skip this step. It's very important and it just makes the whole look blend together perfectly.
To highlight, I'm using that same shade, Toffee from LA Girl. I love this shade so much. It's so versatile. You can use it as your eyeshadow base. You can use it as concealer. It's so nice. Now I'm just blending it all out with this Real Techniques sponge. To contour, I'm using the darkest shade in Anastasia Beverly Hills Medium Contour Palette and I'm just using that to create shadows on my cheekbones, my forehead, those places I want to give more definition. It's time to bake, 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 bake. I'm using Sasha Buttercup powder and I'm just using that on the areas where I put concealer so it doesn't crease and so it gives me this nice highlighted look. Now I'm dusting off the excess powder. For blush, I'm using Beauty Treats, one of the shades there, it's not named, and I'm just putting that on the apples of my cheeks. Highlight, I'm using Mimosa from Anastasia Beverly Hills Gleam Palette and I'm just putting them the higher points of my cheekbones. I will be going in with Crushed Pearl from that same Gleam Palette and I'm highlight highlighting my inner corners of my eyes, the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow as well. And also my brow bone, don't forget the brow bone. For lips, I'm using this BH Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Brazen and I'm just going to use that all over my lips. I couldn't find any purple, any nice purple lipstick and I was so pissed. I lost all my purple lipsticks. For setting spray, I'm using Urban Decay All Nighter and I'm just gonna set my makeup nicely. And that's it guys, the look is finished. I like how it came out, I think it came out really nice. Let me know what you think, let me know if you like it. And if you do like it, please give it a thumbs up, um, please like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support. I love you guys so much. Thank you very much. Bye.